When designing your website, be aware to think of what the front page is going to look like and how you want to organize your work, which way makes it the easiest to navigate and see all of your items. So if we go to this portfolio, it's a little busy. It has the name here and then another icon here, which is kind of duplicate. We have a little note because this is an older portfolio. We'll look at how they've updated their styles since they've left the program. And then we have the front page that's a reel. This is pretty common, but normally it would just be the name and the reel. As you scroll down, you see more of their work and a redundant area to find that work here. All of these are buttons. And then from there, we have additional dropdowns. Now, if you have a lot of clips, you may want to think about using dropdowns, but it does mean we have a lot to explore to see different work. If we go to a website like this, he wants to do motion graphics. He lets you know his social media right on the front page, and so the design's a little cleaner to navigate. If we go demo reel, we can see his work here. And then after this, he separates based on how he made the pieces. If you're not familiar with the artwork, this can be a little more difficult to navigate, but for most people who are experienced, they're going to know what these categories are. This website's incredibly eye-catching, and it does have a smaller amount of categories for us to navigate. There are a couple of things they could definitely improve, like for right here, they put a placeholder image instead of putting the name of the site. So make sure when you're filling this out that you actually put the name of your site as well. Now let's go back to Elizabeth. She says, here's her current portfolio, the one that she worked on while she was in college. This is a much cleaner design. She still has a bit of redundancy from that name, but it's a little less than this. It tells you exactly what she does. She wants to do illustration and animation. And then we have some samples of the work. Now, instead of making a scroll all the way down for each category, she just puts a link for each category at the bottom. And then from there, we can click to see more of the work. Now, when we scroll down, there are still subdivided areas, but they're a little different than they were before. You just see character design and concepts and backgrounds. Think about how you could group and organize your work to make it the most efficient way for people to find it.